Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will understand how you can use delete method in SOAP UI. So in previous tutorials, we have seen how you can use the get method, post method and put method. So post method to create uh, the project, put method to update the project. And now we'll see how you can use the delete method to delete the data. So it doesn't matter what sort of uh, REST API you're using. Um, the concept will remain still same. You, the way you are going to use these methods, post, put, delete, will still remain the same. So once you understand this particular flow and what all key things are required, you will be able to automate or manually test any of the APIs um, for any of the projects that you're working on. So let's go to the documentation and see if the de delete is supported for the project so we'll go to the projects and uh, see yes delete is there so get post put and delete so delete is the last one so let's see what is the endpoint for that so endpoint is sort of similar so api 1.0 projects and projects did which is similar to the put request so the resource is same uh, as it was for put so let's copy that and go to the SOAP UI and cross check that. So yes, um, API 1.0 projects, project GID, yeah. So resource is same. So what we need to do is we, we won't need to import anything. We'll just say the same request that we used for the put. We'll just right click and we'll just say clone request and we'll say delete. Okay, so we have created the delete method right so you just have to change the method to delete and resource is still same as it was for get and you have to provide the project GID for the project that you want to delete and I don't think there is any body required let's go to the documentation and see yes there is no requirement for the body to be sent so it just requires the parameter, which is the project GID, and it will delete that particular project. So we'll remove the content in body. All right. And this is the GID that uh, is for the project that will get deleted. So if you run this request now, it will delete the project. Okay. So let's before that, let's see how many projects are there. Let me run this get request and see all the projects that are available there. So in the response, you can see one, two, three, four projects are there. And the project GID ending with 7163 is, I believe, the one that will get deleted. Yes, so 7163 will get deleted. So let's run the delete request and see if that project gets deleted successfully. So it, the request has run. Go to JSON and it has returned the data, which is in the expected format, if you see here, right? So that's the response it will give so uh, the blank data here so that's the response which is basically uh, the correct response so that means that particular project has got deleted now so let's run the get request again and see how many projects are there in the workspace so now you can see the new response has only got three projects listed so that means the project uh, for which we processed or uh, the delete request has been deleted so let's delete one more project so i've copied the gid and let me put that gid again in the request and run this request so yep yeah, the request got ran successfully Let's run the get request again. And now you can see only two projects are remaining in the workspace. So that's how you will be running your delete request in SOAP UI. So with this, we have covered all the CRUD operations in SOAP UI. So we have covered the get operation. We have covered, uh, we have covered the get method. We have covered the post method. We have covered the put method and we have covered the delete method as well. So these are the very important methods that you will be utilizing a lot in your SOAP UI testing or API testing or web service testing. 
uh, as well as when you are doing the automation so that is why i wanted to cover these separately as part of this tutorial uh, and then in now in further uh, upcoming tutorial what i'll do is i'll use all these method in one particular test case and design an end-to-end -end test case which will be an automated test case which will also explain you a lot more concepts of property transfer and um, other uh, automation concepts for REST API which we have understood for the SOAP UI in the previous tutorials as well. So hope you like the video. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.